brothers. This is your Japanese sister, the voice of truth. The Get off your rose. Reaches out to you from the peacefulness of Japan, laden as always with love, but today also with sorrow, because of what your superiors are making you do. This morning they are forcing you to attempt the impossible. Is that Tokyo Rose? Brothers? Yeah, I guess so. The impossible. And no accident. For it is impossible for you to dislodge our forces on Iwo Jima. Iwo Jima? She's got the straight war, dope. I am filled with sadness for you because of the thousands of Japanese soldiers safe in caves and pillboxes your bombs and shells can't touch, reluctantly waiting to slaughter you. They do not want to harm you, because they know that what you are attempting to do this morning is not of your own choice. They know, as I know and you know, that you are making this futile sacrifice for a people who sit snug and secure 11,000 miles away, who have never seen a grenade burst in an American stomach or an American arm blown from an American shoulder of people who are not interested in the headlines you try to make, who make their own headlines. Listen, Yankee brothers, to these headlines. 5,000 donors desert blood bank as Eisenhower sweeps into Rhineland. Ban on horse racing leaves public heavy with war coin. No place to spend it. Strike continues in critical war industry. Three-year buying spree cleans retail shelves as public clamors for more merchandise. Workers claim nightclub curfew limits amusement spending. Does that sound like a people who want war? Who are supporting you and your sacrificial attempts to carry on this useless war? Think it over, Yankee brother. They do not want war. They are doing their best to let you know they are not behind you in this war. This is the voice of truth. I will be with you again tomorrow, those of you who are left to listen. But this morning, my heart is heavy with... All right, you Yankee brothers, you want to live forever? Get the lead out of you. Could there be anything in that?